Hello sa Nimer Yell and welcome to my channel. I'm a third year med student and I enjoy making videos about anything related to being a med student and my other hobbies as well. For today's video, we will be doing an unboxing slash mini review of these medical equipment that I received from Mac France Medical Supplies. They were generous enough to give me these medical equipment which is perfect as I enter the year of clerkship soon. So all the product links will be posted down below. So if you are curious enough in what I got, and how to use it. Let's start. First of all, we have a reflex hammer. I got the color red, one with a good quality handle. This one is used usually in neurology to test for deep tendon reflexes. And to use it, you just have to point the triangular rubber head and strike any tendon, for example, the knee tendon, in a single brisk stroke to elicit the reflex. So after that, you have to note the reaction or reflex elicited. Next is this pen light. As you can see, I thought it was just an ordinary pen light, but it has a pupil gauge and ruler. This is used to check the diameter of the eye, especially when testing out pupillary reactions of comatose or lethargic patients. So to perform this, the pen light is turned on, but is pointed on the side of the eye first, so that once the light is moved across the eye, the examiner will be able to see changes in pupillary reaction. The normal response is for the pupil to constrict or lumiit yung pupil. This means that the optic nerve is intact and there is optimum brain function. You have to remember the word pearl, pupils, equal, and reactive to light. Next is the surgical gloves. Basically, these gloves are to help the user perform multiple tasks while giving protection to the user and the person being examined. So although it is not usually used for more precise procedure, these non-sterile gloves can garner the user the precaution needed. So it is powder-free and very easy to fit. Next is the pulse oximeter. The pulse oximeter or pulse ox is an electronic device that measures the saturation of oxygen carried in your red blood cells. Tagalog, ibig sabihin po, tinitingnan nito ang level ng oxygen sa dugo ng isang tao. So, gamit itong level na ito, malalaman natin kung sapat bang oxygen na nasa dugo natin. To use this, ang pulse oximeter ay kadalasan na inilalagay sa index finger natin or hintuturo. Mag-wait ka lang. After that, malalaman mo na kung ano ang level level na oxygenation sa dugo. I got 96% sa oxygen saturation and then 81... 82! <laughs> 82 beats per minute for my heart rate. This is Figmo manometer with stethoscope. Ayan! To measure blood pressure, your doctor uses an instrument called Figmo manometer. Sfig. Wow. This cuff is wrapped around your upper arm and inflated to stop the flow of blood in your artery. So in combination with stethoscope, it is commonly used when measuring blood pressure. And grab it. Thank you so much! And for the most awaited part, let's unbox this Litman stethoscope. I got the color navy blue. It has a high acoustic sensitivity and can be used for both adults and pedia patients. The ear tips are tight enough to fit comfortably sa ears ko. To properly fit the ear pieces into the ear, make sure the direction of it is away from you. So this is done to basically point the ear pieces with the orientation of the ear canal in mind. So ayan. Pasok siya sa ear canal ko. Next is to make sure if the stethoscope is in the bell mode or the diaphragm mode, depende sa patient mo or depende sa situation. So do not tap onto the chest piece and make sure to hold the chest piece using the index and middle fingers of the dominant hand. And this will limit noise interference and give you a clearer way to listen to various sounds. The stethoscope can be used to listen to the sounds made by the heart, whether it's the lungs or intestines, as well as blood flow in arteries and veins. The bell is best 
to detect lower pitch sounds. The other side of the step is the diaphragm, which is used to detect high pitch sounds. So we'll post a link below on how to properly use it in the clinical setting. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something from it. And if you are looking for a shop that has complete medical supplies, go check out McFrance Medical Supplies. They provide very good quality supplies, perfect for clinical examinations. And the great thing about this shop is that they are available on Shopee. <laughs> oh, diba? Isang checkout lang. Add to cart na, guys. Do follow them on their Facebook and Instagram accounts. So, ayan. Thank you so much, McFrance Medical Supplies, for sending these. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click notification down below to keep you guys updated on my next video. See ya! Laban mga docs. Stay safe! Bye!